रहमान रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम स्टूडेंट्स एज़ यू आर प्रमोटेड टू क्लास नाइन्थ दिस इज़ योर मैथमेटिक्स बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ ऑफ खैबर पख्तनफा टेक्स्ट बुक बोर्ड पेशाब इन विच देर आर सेवनटीन चैप्टर्स ओके टोटल चैप्टर्स आर सेवनटीन द फर्स्ट वन चैप्टर इज मैट्रेस सो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्राम द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ दिस बुक that is matrices before starting this chapter we are discussing the course content which you have to cover in your midterm these are the course content let's have a look on it course to be covered in midterm the first one chapter is chapter number 1 matrices there are six exercises so exercise 1.1 to exercise 1.6 and then the review exercise 1 The next chapter which we have to do in midterm is chapter number six, algebraic expression and algebraic formulas. Exercise six point one to exercise six point three and exercise review exercise six. After that, we will do chapter number seven, inshallah. That is linear equation and inequalities. From exercise seven point one to seven point four, and also the re review exercise seven. Chapter number eleven, parallelogram and triangles. There are theorems in this chapter, and total five theorems we have to learn in this theorem in this chapter. So, from theorem eleven point one to eleven point five, and then a review exercise of this chapter. Next one is chapter number twelve, line bisector and angle bisectors. Again, from theorem twelve point one to twelve point six plus review exercise twelve. The next chapter is chapter number thirteen, side and angles of a triangle. So from theorem thirteen point one to thirteen point four plus review exercise thirteen. And the last one chapter is chapter number seventeen, practical geometry. There are three exercises in this chapter, but in the midterm we will do exercise thirteen, exercise seventeen point two. This is exercise seventeen point two. and also review exercise 17 okay so now i will start the first chapter which is matrices let's come to the definition of the matrix introduction of the matrices the word matrices is plural of the word matrix the term matrix was first introduced by the mathematician arthur kelly in 1860 okay now we will discuss what is mat what is a matrix matrix a matrix is a rectangular array array or arrangement of real numbers enclosed in square brackets each number in a matrix is called the element or entry of the matrix for example 2 3 5 6 these four numbers are arranged Like a rectangle shape, so that and also enclosed in square brackets, so it is called a matrix. Similarly, the next one matrix is minus one, one, two, three, four, five. There are six numbers or six elements which are enclosed in the square brackets and also arranged like a rectangle shape. These numbers are arranged like a rectangle shape, as by definition there is a word of rectangular array means rectangular arrangement of the numbers. and also you have to enclose them in the square brackets so this is also an example of a matrix similarly the example 3 4 2 minus 1 1 minus 2 minus 4 minus 3 and minus 3 is also a matrix okay let us consider the first one matrix in the matrix 2 3 6 5 5 the numbers 2 3 6 and 5 are the elements or entries of the matrix similarly in this matrix these all numbers 2 3 4 2 1 1 2 4 3 5 are all the elements or entries of the given matrix now the next one topic is rows and columns of a matrix what is mean by a row the rows of a matrix run horizontally and the columns of a matrix run vertically let us consider the example Here is the matrix A where nine elements four, three, minus two, one, five, two, three, one, and one. 
are enclosed in the square brackets so the horizontal arrangement of the numbers the first one is 4 3 and minus 2 this is the first row 4 3 and minus 2 are arranged horizontally so they continue the first row okay so the first row of this matrix is 4 3 minus 2 similarly the second row of this matrix will be 1 5 2 and the third row of this matrix will be 3 1 and 1 now let us consider column column of a matrix means as by the definition the columns of a matrix run vertically so in this example 4 1 is column 3 5 1 is the second column and minus 2 2 1 is the third column now we will start the exercise exercise 1.1 question number 1 is which of the following are square and which of the following are rectangular matrices so the first part is there is a matrix A and in matrix A there are 4 elements 2, 3, 0, 5 so number of rows number of rows in matrix A the first row and the second row 2, 3 is the first row and 0, 5 is the second row so the number of rows are 2 similarly the number of columns ok the first column is 2, 0 and the second column is 3, 5 so there are 2 columns as the number of rows is equal to number of columns so A is a square matrix so A is a square matrix So A is a square matrix. Now consider the second example in which matrix B is given. So the number of rows in matrix B are 1, 6, 3 and minus 1 is the first row. 1, 5 and 2 is the second one row. So number of rows are 2 and the number of columns will be 6, 1 is the first column, 3, 5 is the second column and minus 1, 2 is the third column. So there are 3 columns. As number of rows is not equal to number of columns, number of rows is not equal to number of columns, so it is not a rectangular matrix. Sorry, so it is a rectangular matrix, it is not a square matrix. The matrix in which number of rows and number of columns are equal, when number of rows and number of columns are equal, then that matrix is called a square matrix and the matrix in which number of rows are not equal to number of columns, so that matrix will called the rectangular matrix the next one question is question number two list the order of the following matrices the first part is a matrix a is given so the number of rows are one and two the first row is one two minus one and the second row is three four and two so the number of rows are two and the number of columns The first column is 1, 3, the second column is 2, 4 and the third column is minus 1, 2. So there are 3 columns. Hence, order of the matrix A, the matrix A will be 2 by 3. Means number of rows by number of columns. Look at the next question, that is question number 3. If A is a matrix, give the following elements. The first one part is, give the following elements. So the first part is A12. A12 means the element of the matrix A which lies in first row and second column. 1, 2 means first row and second column. So the first row is 3, 2, minus 4 and the second column is 2, 5, 1, 4. It means this one element is the element A1, 2. So the element which lies in first row and second column that is 2. Similarly, we can say that in the second part, it is given that A23, what does it mean? Means that element which lies in the second row and the third column. So the second row and the third column is this one element. It's talking about the element which lies in the second row and third column. 
so it will be a two three